If you can hear that, I'm sorry. It's hot, and uh, I, yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Something you might not have noticed between this video and the last video I posted was that it rained. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Because the last video I posted was, uh, because uh, my friend comes over in the morning so I can give him a ride. Uh, and uh, on that day, actually, it rained. It rained for a little bit. I don't know if it rained over here because uh, the school I go to is in a, in a different place. It's so far away enough that the weather is different. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it rained for a good while, actually, because... Uh, it was it was raining as soon as I'm pretty sure as soon as I got out of class, which was around three thirty, and uh, I didn't leave until around six thirty. So it rained for a good while, surprisingly, you know, considering. Oh man, the, the, the three no a few days before that was just like the entire week before that was like ninety degrees to a hundred. It was awful. It was hot. It was barely windy, and when the wind came up, it was kind of hot as well, you know? Like, it wasn't, you know, people like to say it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Like, no. It's the heat. Like, I was cooking. Um, you know, it was a little, it was not quite as humid, but whatever. Um, and then, uh, I, it, it always comes up, but I, I never figured I'd be, like, the, the person to talk about, you know, like, when you're, like, a little kid, and you hear, uh, adults talking about the weather, and you're just like that's the most boring like why why not why not talk about something else you know like you have all this time why talk about the weather the weather is so boring just let it happen no you find out that the weather is like super important and then you realize that you you start to base your day around the weather sometimes um i know some people that don't i know a lot of people that do i am one of those people that do like i have to base my entire outfit on like um, on the weather by the time I, I leave wherever I'm going. So like um, every day, I, I basically have a set, like my schedule is different uh, every other day, but I just have it set so that my day starts off at around 11 and it ends at around 6.30ish. So I have to base my my entire attire around that time, around that time frame. And if it just so happens to be that it's gonna be cold for like five hours, but then the last two hours are gonna be like super hot i'm gonna have to wear something hot you know or i'm gonna have to wear layers and that's the that's the thing about living in california is you have to learn how to you have to learn how to live with layers and you know my attire my my attire i keep saying the word attire my entire closet is very it's very winter and <clears throat> i should probably get more sun i should probably get more spring clothes but whatever it's just a t-shirt i just i just feel more comfortable with a jacket on that's what i'm saying so i like to bring jackets I haven't been able to do that, and I've been so uncomfortable. But it rained, and I, I was dressed appropriately because, I don't know, I thought it's a 40% chance of rain. I was feeling pretty hopeful, and besides, you know, it was going to be the last day that it was going to be semi like The weather said that for three days it was going to be a bit cold, so I was just living it to the fullest. So I wore this really nice jacket with this really big hood, one of my favorite jackets. Um, it was actually the first time ever since uh, school started that I was able to wear my big brown jacket. Um, my friends know that jacket very well because I wore it to school every day. Because it's like my other favorite jacket. Like um, I remember on the very first day I didn't I didn't wear a jacket. I was wearing completely different clothing to the point where my friend couldn't recognize me. Like I asked her for a ride home and she was like, where are you? I don't see you. And then she tells me later, like, I couldn't tell that was you in front of me because you weren't wearing a beanie, you weren't wearing jeans, and you weren't wearing your jacket, and you didn't have your headphones on. Like, I ha I'm, like, basically a cartoon character at this point. Like, I have, I have an outfit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I just, I, I keep that in mind because uh, I remember reading somewhere, dress as if the zombie apocalypse is going to happen any second. You want to look cool, right? So, like, you know, I always dress. I, I... It's my favorite jacket. It's got pockets on the inside. Really useful. Other than that, um, other than the weather and my clothes, um, what else happened this week? My math homework didn't get posted up. I mean, I finished my math homework, but like, uh, my professor was supposed to put new ones every, every so often, and he said he was gonna put up, he was gonna put up like five whole units. You know, he said it was gonna be a bunch. It was gonna be due in a couple weeks to give us, 
ample time to work on it. And I said, fine, I'll work on it as soon as I can. He said, it's going to be up later tonight. You know, so I check. Well, it's, first of all, I check after class. Not there. Fair enough. I check the next day. Still not there. Um, I'm going to check tomorrow again. Just to just to see if it's posted up. I don't know if I feel like doing it. Um, I had to write a four to five page essay. That was fun. To be fair, I was given like a, you know, I'll say like a week's notice to do it. But I just, I just put it off because I was like, oh man, four to five page essay on what? It was so boring. Like I hate writing. First of all, I already hate writing with a prompt. But writing with a prompt for like an extended period of time, you know, to be fair, four to five page essay. Not that bad considering it was in like double space, you know. So it's basically two pages. Um, but still, it's like. You know, you, you you see that you read four to five page essay on a topic that has nothing to do with anything. Like it's the most boring. Like I'm supposed to relate to an article talking about how everyday life is as boring as killing a zombie. You know, and that might sound interesting, but it's basically like going on to say that the everyday tasks like that you live in is uh, is kind of like the the act of killing a zombie, which is like one after the other. It's a battle of attrition. When you're working in real life, uh, you're not re you're working towards a goal, but you're never really gonna see it. You know, you're gonna you would die before you reach that goal, and that's interesting. Fine, I could write about that, but we had to have a second source, which was a TED talk about parasites, which kind of relates to the whole zombie thing, but but not to the sense of I don't know. I, I had to make something up. Like it was kind of like a stretch where I'm saying like parasites isn't like we're not in control of what we're doing. You know, like, like, there's some external force forcing us to do this thing, uh, which kind of makes sense, and it was kind of implied on the paper, like, we were given a piece of paper that had a list of, like, topics we could talk about, and I said, I didn't want to use any of those, but I ended up using a couple of them, because, you know, they're useful, they're there for a reason, I just didn't want to, because I thought, I wanted to make something up, um, sorry, my thing, uh, my little pirate ship was falling, um, but other than that, uh, I can't really say nothing else has happened. I've, I've been falling asleep in psych class a lot. I try not to do that, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> it's my class at the end of the day, and by the end of the day, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so bummed out. I just want to not take that class because, you know, um, I feel like I, ha like I have three hours in between my classes, and I feel like that's ample time to do some stuff, but like I said, my math professor hasn't been really good at keeping up with that. Like, I, I'm up to date with the incitement, but he's it's not there, so I can't do that. And uh, for whatever reason, I just find like the the English stuff because I have two classes that are um, uh, comp cla I, not comp classes, hybrid classes, uh, which is the math class and my English class. And for whatever reason, I just don't like I don't like doing the English. Like, it's so boring, and like uh, I, sometimes I get so excited because you know I do love to write, I love writing, but I forget. That English class is all about writing with prompts given to you. And, you know, as a writer, I guess you should be good at, you know, taking a topic and giving your opinion about it, you know. And, like, and that opinion should vary between four to five pages to ten pages. You know, you can have, you have to have an infinite amount of opinion on something. Or, like, to a certain extent, right? You have to be good at that type of stuff. And I understand that to a certain extent, but, I don't know, the topics are just never what I think they should be. Um, oh, I guess my, uh, I mean, I, w I might as well talk about my speech class. We had to write, we had to talk about, um, something. We had to inform our audience, which is the rest of the class, on something that they don't know about. And I thought, all right, perfect, net neutrality. For whatever reason, all of these internet college kids don't know what net neutrality is. And I, you know, I'm, I'm assuming, of course, that sucks to assume, but, you know. A lot of the times, like, like, like this big, like, you know, of all the things, like, I talk about, I talked about it a lot last year when it was happening, but, <laughs> I just, I just think it's super interesting that, because, uh, I had to talk about it in my government class because, you know, we had to do research on, uh, historical and, like, political stuff there, too, so a lot of my papers had to do with net neutrality, and I was always so amazed whenever I would walk into class and talk about net neutrality, and they would, one, not have heard about it, and two, not have heard about it, even though I talked about it, like, last week, you know, like, like, they just, like, you know, sometimes they would have no idea, to a certain point, like, you know, after a little bit, they kind of realize, like, oh, I bet he's gonna talk about net neutrality, I'm like, 
guess you're right. <laughs> you know, like, because it's, it's still going on. Um, but anyway, I just thought, you know, had it in the bag. And then we, we spent that entire class period, you know, openly discussing what our topics were going to be. And kind of deciding on what it, uh, on, like, if it's a good topic or not. And lo and behold, third guy that was picked, not me, also said neutra net neutrality. And I said, no, oh, well, sh shit, like, I, I don't want to use the same topic. Like, and, and I'm also kind of disappointed because of all the people I wanted to talk about net neutrality. I'm really sorry, but, you know, like, public speaking, you know, there's a certain way you can go about it. And, you know, I just hope no one finds his speech boring. I'm... I'm, I think he can do it, but it's just the last, like, you know, we, we did inter self-introductory speeches. Um, I didn't like his because it was so long and drawn out, and I wasn't sure if I was supposed to learn something, or, you know, or, like, I don't, I didn't even get a feel for what kind of person he was, other than this, and it had nothing to do with what he, what he was, you know, like, you know, you're, you're given, like, a timer, like, you can't go past four minutes, he spent a majority of his time talking about one thing that had nothing to do with anything, and, you know, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to dodge a bunch of bullets here, but, um, of all the people, like, I don't know, I would have voted for someone else to talk, I would have rather the guy that was, like, the, the wrestling, there's a wrestling fan in my class, and I'm really sad that I haven't been able to talk to him, because, like, he's, like, a couple desks over, he's, like, a couple rows over, he's, like, too far away for me to converse regularly, but uh, when he went up and did his self-introductory speech, I was like, oh man, I have so much in common with this guy. I knew we could be friends, but he just never, never panned out. Um, but I, I have to pick a different topic, and I have to email my professor about that. Probably going to do something that my friend Nick has uh, suggested for me. And just in case I don't stick with it, I don't want to say it right now. You know, besides, i got to flesh out the idea. Because, you know, you have to have certain... I have to have links for it, I have to figure out a way, because that was the thing, right? I could talk about video games, but not everyone cares about video games. That was my second topic, it was the, the crash of 1983. And literally when I said that, teacher goes, professor goes, um, I'm going to I'm gonna start playing devil's advocate, I don't care about video games, how are you going to make me interested about that? And I go, well, I don't want to do this topic. And she said, it's fine, I could do net neutrality, but like I said, if everyone's already going to hear about it, I don't want to inform someone on something they already know, you know, for fear of my for fear of my uh, my own speech becoming really boring. Uh, so I just, eh, I'll I'll choose a different topic, I guess. The other thing that happened, I guess, this week is Anime Club finally started. I didn't think that was gonna happen. We need more people in that club because it's literally just me and my friends. Um, there's this cool girl in there though. She's a uh, She's not, she's not really too big into anime, but, you know, it's her and her friend, and her friend is the president, and he was actually late, because, you know, he works at, uh, he works at the cafe at the school, actually, so, you know, he, that's why the anime club, you know, started out so late, and I was, I was super disappointed, because, you know, both of them are working, like, she was also working in the, uh, at the, uh, at the test center, you know, the, that, where you have to apply to the school, she was working there, handing out tests. Um, and neither of them made it out to do, uh, to set up a table for Club Rush, so Anime Club never got any, um, never got any, uh, what's the word, Ex expo exposure, wow, I'm forgetting all my words, never got any exposure, so it, <coughs> no one showed up, so I'm, you know, we're gonna have to do some advertising, and that's gonna be a lot harder, because I know less people here than I did back then, like, back then it was super easy to, you know, you just walk into class and be like, hey, I know that you know a bunch of nerds. Tell them Anime Club's happening. And even at that, no one showed up. You know, people showed up at tournaments, you know, so there's that. And I did, I did, um, you know, suggest a bunch of stuff because, you know, uh, I'm, I didn't have, I didn't have any specific position of power in the last Anime Club. I was treasurer, you know, but I did make a lot of suggestions and I was, you know, really good with friends, really good friends with the president, so she took a lot of my ideas, so that was cool, um, but, you know, this, this anime club seems to be doing the only thing that we didn't get to do back then, which was actually watch anime, because we didn't have a room, uh, back in our old anime club, we, we played games a lot, and, you know, this one, all they do is watch anime, and they walk in, watch anime, walk out, see you later, see you next week, let's watch more anime next week, um, you know, 
I, I'll have to talk to the I'll have to talk to the lady person. She's super nice too. She's like she seems to be like you know genuinely interested. And you know I hope that's I hope that's not just a front. I hope we can be I hope we can be actually friends because um, I need I need more people within my interests. You know so there's that. Anywho, I've talked for long enough. Um, I'm not even gonna go into what I was playing this week. Guess what? It's Metal Gear. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna try to run a schedule because I have a bunch of Metal Gear videos saved up on my little doohickey over here, my little phone. So I'll I'll post a random video every week, and then I'll post this video every week. So there's that. Um, anywho, that's it for me. I'll see everyone next week.